Greetings and salutations, this is Domingo Martinez and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to light up an RGB LED using an IR remote. So first things first, let's go ahead and take out our IR remote and its corresponding sensor. Well, here's the sensor, so let's go ahead and place that on the breadboard and you can place it anywhere you like. I'll go ahead and put it there. And I'm going to look for my IR remote, which should be... And be sure that you select the All Components section. And here's my IR remote. And I'll place that here, where it's uh, a little bit visible. Um, so now let's go ahead and see if we can program this. Um, before we do that, actually, let's set it up. So if you look at these pins, if you hover over them clearly, it indicates what it should connect to. So VCC will always be connected to your your 5 volts here. So let's connect that to the 5 volts on the Arduino. And it's best to be consistent with your coloring of the wires. So let's go ahead and make that red. And let's see, let's hover over this, our output. Um, we'll go ahead and make the output to the sensor connected to pin 11, and you'll see why in a minute. Now, we already have a, a green wire, so I'm going to change this color to... Um, let's go ahead and change it to purple. Makes no difference. And if I hover over this pin, it tells me it's connected to ground, so I need to make sure that I connect this one to ground on my Arduino. And to be consistent, I'm going to make sure that that's a black wire. So ground should always be black. And if I go to my code editor, I can start messing around with some code. And what I want to do is get the code from my Arduino. So here's my Arduino IED program. If I go to File, Examples, and I look for IR Remote, I can use the IR receive demo. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this demo into into Tinkercad. So copy and place this into my code editor of Tinkercad. So where did I get this code from? Well, I'll go ahead and post the link below, but you can simply type in Google and GitHub you can just type in IR remote library and it'll give you access to the remote library. So here's my, I already had access to the remote library. It was already installed in my Arduino IDE. So I just went ahead and got the, the code from there. So now we can run that code. And <clears throat> if we do, we can click on serial monitor and then we can click on different buttons and those buttons will give us some hexadecimal values so notice I'm clicking on one consistently and as I'm clicking on one it's giving me this hexadecimal value so I'm going to utilize that information uh, in a few minutes so if I click on two it gives me a different hexadecimal value and if I click on three it'll give me an alternate hexadecimal value so I'm going to use these values in my, co in my code so first, let me see if I can go ahead and say, hey, well, I need to stop this first. I'm going to say, hey, red is connected to pin 9, and blue, green is connected to pin 10, and let me just verify if that's correct. So we got 9, 10, and then we have 13. So green is connected to 13, and blue is connected to 10. And in void setup, let's go ahead and make those LEDs outputs. So we're going to output red. And my best friend is copy and paste, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this so I don't have to retype it paste it, paste it again, and then I'm simply going to change these to blue and green. Alright, 
and so we're going to utilize this information here. Now the first one was button one. So in your if statement, so you're given an if statement here. In that if statement, I'm going to go ahead and create my own if statement. So if, and then to call these or to verify these buttons, we'd say results dot value. So if the results dot value are the same as the buttons being pressed, so make sure you put a zero and an X before it. If that's the case, if those buttons are being pressed, then So in these braces, I'm going to go ahead and say, if the button is pressed, then I want to turn on my LED. So I'm going to say digital right, and then let's say we'll turn on red. So if I turn on red, I want to make sure that the other lights are turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those other lights off. And I do so by just indicating that it should be low. And I'm going to do that for both green and blue. OK, so that's the first button. And I'm going to just copy and paste, because that's my best friend. And this time, I'm going to do else if. So else if, and then I'm going to select a different value. And this should be my button 2. So there's button 2. But for button 2, I don't want red to remain on. I want it to be off. And I'll go ahead and take my blue or my green and turn it on. And then I'll do the same here. This time, let's go ahead and change it. It's actually the same, almost similar hexadecimal value, so I'm just going to change this to a 6. And then we'll turn the blue on. And when I run it, it should give me exactly the buttons should correspond to the lights. So let's see if that's the case. So void setup pin mode was not declared. So let's see if we can <clears throat> go to here. Oh, pin. That should be a pin. I apologize. Being a bit hasty. So error pin was not declared int that needs a semicolon all right so if i press one it lights up red if i press two If I press 3, so 2 is an issue for me. Maybe I used the wrong hexadecimal value. So 877. 8877. So 2 is FD877. One is well, it works. We just got to change some of these hexadecimal values, and then you can do that on your own. But that's generally the case on how you would connect your IR remote to make sure that any other components move. In this case, we're using an RGB LED. Thank you.